everyone, hello, dear friends. Today will be an unusual video. Today we will be joking all day with villagers. I've come up with a lot of interesting ways we can make fun of them. This really will be very interesting pranks that you will like. Let's go more videos somewhere. That villager, he was near the farm. I think the villager will not like it very much. He will be angry. Hello, villager. Today is a really nice day. Do you want to spend all day in the garden? You have a lot of things to do today. Yes, you gentlemen, you are absolutely right. I grew my potatoes for a long time, and how I want to collect. I've ever tasted. I'll help you to plant your potatoes. I think that if you jump on it, it will grow much faster. I am a master in potato cutting. Oh my gosh, you Dermoro, you destroyed my farm right in front of me. Please stop jumping. I'm in helping my you plant potatoes. I'm going to put potatoes in you. Come here. I teach you lesson for this. You will plant potatoes on me for 10 years until I forgive you. Calm down, villager. I was only playing with you. Take your potatoes and please don't touch me anymore. I guess I have taken the most valuable for the villager. It was really very dangerous. He wanted to beat me for it. Oh no, I fell in the pit. Help me, as soon as I chose with you, you kill it, be bad. Of course, the villager I will help you out only with one condition. You will not beat me anymore. In the meantime, you will sit here and think about your behavior, I hope about it. At the same time, the water is very warm, you must like. As soon as I get out of here, I will find you for sure. I will put you down with potatoes. You will grow you in my garden. You pissed on the strongest villager in this village. God, you think I have a long way to run from him now. He's obviously very angry about the potato situation. Okay, guys think that he will forgive me. And I will then give him a gift. And we guys are right now going to piss off another villager. I have a lot of ways that can definitely piss off all the villagers in this village. Now, guys, I forget useful resources is for trade with villagers. As you know, villagers are natural born traders. So I plan to piss off one of them now. I plan to sell peasant potatoes right now, but it will be bad quality. We will give this potato a good variety. I think that something is going to make the villager very angry. And he will definitely be too angry. Let's go to him right now and sell potatoes. Well, I'll do something besides sell potatoes. Hello, villager. Today is a very nice day. Don't want to go to me to buy potatoes that are in the garden. I'd love to do it, but I can't get out of the box office. My shift isn't over. I gave you emeralds to guarantee safety. Let me stand on the register and you go and look at the garden. Great villagers guys have gone and we have managed to deceive him. Right now, we will climb to him in the chest and steal all the money we have. Look, it turns out it sells rotten potatoes. Then the guys, we will take all the potatoes right now. We'll take these potatoes and sell them to him and see what he does. I think he'll be furious about it. Hi, I already have done it and look at, at your vegetable. Garden, this is a really good vegetable. Garden, I want to taste your potatoes. Oh my god, this is the most disgusting potato I've ever eaten in my life. What you gave me is not potato, the most terrible thing. Get out of my store before I hit you. The villager is obviously furious because of such a joke. I need to get out of the store quickly, or he will definitely beat me here. Calm down, I will not come to you shop, all right? I think I managed to get out of this store after all. Let's build a way out so he doesn't get out and follow us. I think I'm really mad about the potato situation, and that's why he wants to beat me.
I think the guys, I did the right thing because he sold bad potatoes. This villager deserved his punishment, so we did it to him. He will no longer sell rotten potatoes to poor villagers in this village. <laughs> Once I get out of here, you're out of luck. I'll buy you to grow potatoes. I guess you're not planning on changing, so I'm gonna have to apply severe punishment. I'll burn down your shop so you can't sell rotten potatoes. No, so much. Not my favorite store. I can no longer sell my rotten potatoes in this village. You will answer for our exiles and I will make you pay for my store. You're a bad northerner and you've been selling bad products. Don't worry about the police coming to you soon, your shop will be arrested. Great guys, we were able to punish the bad villager for his bad actions. We are definitely great today. Oh my goodness, what has happened to my shop? Wait, I think it's another villager's shop. He was selling bad potatoes here. You, Jimbo, you made a big mistake. It was a villager who wanted to hurt my business. You helped him do it, and now my store is completely on fire. Sorry, villager, I didn't know about this. I just wanted to help in the village. Seems the guy's prank out of control. I need to run. This time they even mocked me. I have to pay the villager for his store because it is my fault. Stop chasing me. I'll pay you for your store. Please, I didn't want to light it up by accident. You can't catch me anyway because I'm so much faster than you. So you accidentally touched my store. Yes, it turned out quite by accident. I didn't know it was your shop. I think the village is selling and rotten potatoes, so I decided to teach him a lesson. Oh my god, guys, seems a villager is building an iron golem. I think I have a big problem. Oh no, I need to urgently run away from here. They are definitely not in the mood today, so I think I need to urgently run away. Iron golem is, of course, a serious problem. As you know, it is the best friend of the villager, so... But this iron golem can't climb a tree anyway. I guess I'm lucky and he won't beat me today. I think that this time they are not trying to punish me rightly. I definitely should not have gone into this store and try to harm. The guys write in the comments their ideas as possible to troll the villager. I'm sure you have a lot of great ideas. So guys write in the comments their ideas. How would you make fun of villagers? I have an interesting idea. I can try to make friends with an iron golem and it will even help me. All you have to do is try to befriend him somehow. Hope he is that he likes money and potatoes very much. Let's please make friends with you. I have an interesting proposal for you. I will give you potatoes all you want. I will give you interesting things that I have and in return ask for help. I am not trying to hurt the villagers. I'm just messing with them. Let's make fun of them together. And you give me iron bar. We can lock them in a box and then shoot them with snowballs. It will be really fun. And we can have a good time with you. I'll even give you the last emeralds I have if you agree to it. I think we made friends with the golem. This is really great news that will help us to joke with villagers. Right now I will give him the rest of the things I have. In return, I asked him for an iron bar and you will know what I will do with them. You obviously liked my ender pearls. Hurry up and I'll give you more pearls. After all, the guys, this iron golem decided to become my friend and now we will joke together. Write in the comments, would you like a friend such as Iron Golem? Honestly, I always wanted to have some huge iron friend. For the first time in my life, I have a really strong cool friend. Now his task is to attract villagers. Once they're all in the center, then I will get stuck these houses and they will be trapped. Villagers don't know how to break blocks, so they can't get out of here. They don't even know what I'm up to. They are all distracted by a beautiful fireworks because they like it. Great, we were able to build these villagers in a trap. They hit, now we will shoot them with snowballs. 
Just do not panic, please. Otherwise, I put you pity. The villagers, in total shock, they certainly did not expect such a trap from me. I think they will not be able to forgive me for much longer. But the guys will not forget what I am capable of. Still today, we will have to prank the villagers all the videos. My friend, the iron golem just left and left me the iron. Apparently, he too laughed with a heart, so decided to thank me. I will make a reservation out of this and go on pranking villagers. They do not like snowballs because they are too cold. <laughs> Guys, write in the comments right now whether you like to throw snowball. And I constantly throw snowballs in the winter and it is very fun. I wonder if you like it. I'm sorry, I won't run after your game and throw to hit you. I'll accept any penimation. Just don't throw snowballs at me. Well, so be. I will stop doing it. But you will be punished to sit some time in a cage. It will be your punishment because you did not believe your friend and attacked him. I think here you will sit and think about your behavior. And I have an idea of how we can teach this villager even more. I have a good acquaintance who can help me joke about him. We run straight to him. I want to ask him for help right now. He is in the basement and nobody knows about him except me. I need his help to scare the villager. And I have to you an interesting suggestion how we can have a good time. I have a villager who's very afraid of you. We can make it look like I'm giving you a villager. He's going to be really scared. Sounds pretty interesting, so let's do it. I like to scare, so I'll try. I hope your villager does cry. This villager you can take, it is now yours. I give you a lot to this bandit to live with now. I think you will become friends. No, no, please don't sell me to him. You don't know, I'll be good. We have obviously managed to frighten this villager very much. Now we are moving on and I believe that we must really piss off the villagers. I think that I will create tools now and will Break them at home. Uh, I think that after this, villagers will not forgive me and try to do something. It will be a very cruel prank, so I'll give them a good gift later. I found a villager's house, so I plan to cut it down now. We have to accumulate a lot of boards to build a barn, so it is a great place. From the roof, we can actually pick up a lot of wood and this is enough to build a shed. Let's wake up. I'm here breaking your house. Help me break your house so I can build a barn. He sleeps and doesn't even react to me. It's a little offensive, although you guys know I think I need a bed so I can sleep in the shed. That's why we're taking the bed right now. No! Oh my goodness, you did bro, what are you doing? Do you have the nerve to break my house in front of me? Stop please, break my house! Please, at the same time, I will destroy the house that is near. I will then, of course, make a gift to all these villagers. I have to make them very angry so they are angry. Get out of my house right now before you get sick. What are you doing? I'm already very angry. All is well this demolition of the emergency house. So don't worry, I'll build you a new cool house. You can safely leave your house. Nothing bad will happen. We could deceive the villager and now he will not touch us. We need to come up with new ways to make fun of the villagers. I have a secret cellar. Go down there. You'll love it. It's been a long time since I think he caught him. Now I have to see how they are. Eardenbro, is not funny to let us out of here. No shine you will be here next to my friend. He already paid for you, so you stay here, and I've got to go on making fun of some villagers. No shine you will be here next to my friend. He already paid for you, so you stay here, and I've got to go on making fun of some villagers. Although, I think I have one more unfinished business in the village. You remember this villager who sold bad potatoes and framed me? 
He called his gang. Look, the guys there are a gang of villagers who want to get back at me. <laughs> These are the villagers who all traded in rotten potatoes. We must punish them because bandits should not be in our village. It is good that the villages are very weak, and so we easily cope with them. They called for the help of Iron Golem. But even they together cannot cope with me because I am stronger. The main thing is not to let yourself be surrounded; otherwise, I will get revenge. I definitely should not lose this and gang of bandits. I had to joke with the villagers today, and as a result, I save them from the bandits in our village. Good thing the iron golem and I have armor. Well, that golem gave me iron, and I could make myself armor. With this armor, I have a much better chance of beating these bandits. Guys, be sure to write in the comments how you would punish these bandits. I often ask you to write in comments because I like your idea. You're actually giving cool ideas that I use in my videos. Thank you very much for this. You are actually helping me a lot. Let the guys see what is in the garage at God Himself. Wow! Look at this beauty.